Hey, this is Presh Towalker. This square, ABCD, lies on a flat surface. Along sides AB and AD are two flaps. Each flap is in the shape of a regular hexagon. The vertices E and F are adjacent to the vertex A. The top flap is rotated about side AB at an angle of T, and the right flap is rotated about the side AD at the same angle T. This is done until the points E and F are coincident. In other words, AE is equal to AF. There are two parts to the question. First, what is the angle T that each hexagonal flap was rotated? Part two, what is the angle AE makes with the flat surface? I thank Bonnick for the suggestion. A version of this problem appeared on the JEST exam in India. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I found this problem extremely challenging and interesting to solve. It took me a long time to work out a solution. So here's one way to solve the problem. Let's focus on the top hexagonal flap. Without loss of generality, suppose the square ABCD has a side length equal to two. Then each of the sides of the regular hexagon has a side length equal to two. In particular, AE is equal to two. Now let's construct a right triangle AGE. Since we have a regular hexagon, each external angle is equal to 60 degrees. We thus have a special 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Since the hypotenuse length is equal to two, the shorter leg will be half of that, which is equal to one. And then EG will be equal to the longer leg, which is the square root of three. Now let's set up a coordinate system where the point A is 0, 0, 0. This hexagon will be rotated T degrees upwards about the side AB. So now let's try to figure out the coordinates of the point E. We have A, which is the origin. One unit over, we have G. We now have the point E, which is somewhere here. We know that EG has a length equal to the square root of 3. Furthermore, EG has been rotated T degrees from the flat surface, so this angle is equal to T. We now have a right triangle, so we can solve for the lengths of the legs. One leg will be the square root of 3 times the cosine of T, and the other leg will be the square root of 3 times the sine of T. So we can see that the point E has coordinates 1, square root of 3 times the cosine of t, and its height is equal to the square root of 3 times the sine of t. We can now do a similar calculation for the other hexagonal flap. Let's figure out the coordinates of point f. This hexagonal flap is rotated at the same angle t about the side ad. By similar calculation, we can see that the coordinates of f are equal to the square root of 3 times the cosine of t, comma 1, comma the square root of 3 times the sine of t. Now, how can we solve for t? We want to rotate the two hexagonal flaps such that e is equal to f. That means the first coordinates and the second coordinates have to be equal. This implies that 1 is equal to the square root of 3 times cosine t. This means cosine t is equal to 1 divided by the square root of 3 which means t is equal to the inverse cosine of 1 divided by the square root of 3, which is approximately equal to 54.74 degrees. And that's the answer to the first part of the question. Now let's consider a right triangle where one of the acute angles is equal to t. We need the cosine of t to be equal to 1 divided by the square root of 3. We can then solve for the length of the other leg, and this will be equal to the square root of 2. Thus, we can solve that sine t is equal to the square root of 2 divided by the square root of 3. We can thus substitute 
for sine t and cosine t in the coordinates for e. We'll now just simplify this so that e is equal to 1 comma 1 comma square root of 2. So now let's plot the points a and e. a is the origin and e is at 1 comma 1 comma square root of 2. We know the length of AE is equal to 2, and we know that its height is equal to the square root of 2. We can thus solve for the length of the other leg. This will be equal to the square root of 2. We thus have an isosceles right triangle because two of the legs are equal to the square root of 2. This means each of the acute angles is equal to 45 degrees. Thus, AE makes an angle of 45 degrees with the flat surface. And that's the answer to part two. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.